Alright folks, yeah, I've uh, had an opportunity to come down again on the low tide with things changing so much. Here at the mouth, you can see this is the channel. It's got a lot narrower, but it's still very, very deep, um, which is quite interesting. But um, it's kind of closed up at the front there. Um, but the only difference is, is that there's a lot more sand that's been pushed in has changed the formation quite a bit so I'm going to take a stroll now and we'll go through onto the other side and see what it looks like on the, on the other side there, where the southern mouth is now formed okay so this is the channel that I show you it's, it's a lot narrower now but it's really deep obviously we're on the low tide and if I scan around like this you'll see that it actually it's now dry in the front here. The last video I did, we weren't able to walk across this because there was water here. But if I come in close here, which is quite interesting, and, and, and these reeds are starting to get flattened, as I mentioned. Um, if this starts to flatten, then a lot more salt water could flow into the system. But you can see, um, if I zoom in here, you can see the clay banks that are still here. And these clay banks were obviously from long time ago. Um, and I think it was more when they removed the one dune at the back there by the Sego Club. And you can see there's more of it here. But you can see the wave action is breaking it all up and uh, starting to corrode into that, which is a really, really good sign. And if I go across here, you can see how the reeds have been flattened from the sea. And so now I've moved across and you can see how these reeds have been flattened by the wave action. And, uh, a cyclone coming down the Mozambican channel in the next week or so and so if, if that creates a big sea it could create a lot of movement and interesting things here so uh, yeah I mean this is this the reeds that I mentioned before where the one day I actually had to use a hippo path to get through to come through to the other side here but it's uh, completely flat and what's nice about this is that the sea is actually very small um, so uh, it's obviously just tidal action that's done this maybe I'll come down on the high tide this afternoon have another look what it looks like on the high tide what I'm trying to do now I'm trying to work out <clears throat> roughly the video that I did in the last year I think the reeds these little stubbles that you see here This is actually where I came out um, of that hippo path, which came through here. Because I remember when I was walking through, there was a lot of clay. And um, you can see, here's the clay here. So, uh, this is, uh, the sea is really starting to, to dominate these reeds, which is amazing to see. around and I come to this side in other words the southern side go to that bank to me it looks like it's almost doubled in size since we started okay so now I've got to the pinnacle here on the northern bank and again we look at the clay here you see the, the beach sand has been removed and uh, the clay stayed behind and uh, it's quite deep go across to there you can see but uh, the key thing is it's been broken up and and removed which is great to see and so a lot of the beach sand that was up on the top here um, from the past is also now moved away um, and remember I said in some of my videos before obviously with beach sand moves a lot easier than this clay um, and so therefore when you get a bit of a strong tide or nice flooded water it's going to move the beach sand much easier but uh, wow really changing and changing rapidly which is uh, really interesting to see you can see the, the water coming through and it's coming through strong from both sides from 
the Amphalosi as I walk across. From the Amphalosi, which is, I'm showing you now, you can see the color line here um, where the, the river from, uh, the water from the, the, the lake system is coming out. And this bank is extremely high. said earlier it comes from when they removed um, the dune that was on the other side of the dune across the river. That was done a few years ago. So I come back and just get to the point here. And like I say I think you know, a lot of people are complaining about the clay but I personally still believe that uh, the clay was uh, assisting us keeping this channel open. boardwalk the water is pushing in extremely strong I haven't seen this for a long time that it's pushing like this and uh, that's a good indication that uh, a lot more seawater is actually coming into the system and obviously creating this strength of flow coming up this little stream here very good to see okay folks I've um, come down now on the high tide and just excuse the wind that's howling out here but um, this little stretch that I'm filming now that's where I was this morning when I dropped down into that little drop off into the channel and uh, the observation I have it looks like it's almost forming another dune because um, I'm standing at the top here of the original dune and you can see it's still quite high but it is eating away down the bottom here and it, what I'm filming now is that channel and uh, that white water in the background that's the, the other sandbank on the other side of the channel in other words the southern side and then uh, the blue water right at the back there that's the actual mouth itself and uh, although there is water washing across into the reeds there it's not uh, washing a lot and uh, that's just because the sea is small and uh, when the northeasterly blows like this continuously, generally it flattens the sea and the sea doesn't get that big. But uh, there is a, a cyclone or a tropical storm at the moment in Madagascar. So maybe that could change things for us. Uh, we might not necessarily get the, the rain, but there's a good chance that we'll get the big seas. And uh, that could change this whole setup quite drastically. And uh, I believe if that water can gush over the top of those reeds there, wash it away like I've said before in some of my previous videos then we're going to have a much wider mouth and therefore a lot more salt water entering into the system and uh, that way helping us a, a lot more and as I scan around you can see the water entering into the into the system and uh, to me if I go right around it looks like they've moved the, my marker the pole northwards again probably with another hundred meters um, again a good indication that uh, this dune that I'm standing on right now is being eaten away and eaten away and so they keep moving that, that pole but yeah a little bit disappointing I was hoping to see a lot more wave action into those reeds but uh, still really nice to see well until the next video folks be safe everybody